Hi heathens! Today's video is going to be me playing around with some products. I feel like that's what most of my videos are. But some of these products are newer that y'all have not seen because the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skincare Color Correcting Serum Moisturizer Primer <laughs> is something that I got from Influencer Complimentary um, for my honest review. So I'll have probably a review going up on Instagram. And then also the CoverGirl Clean Invisible Loose Powder in Translucent was also something complimentary from Influencer. So I'm going to be using those in my video. And I got these matte liquid eyeshadows um, from Amazon. And they're like neutral shades. So I wanted to give them a go and see how they compare to the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suits that I really liked. It's a silky texture, easy to apply makeup. I guess Cabest is the brand. And on the how to use, it says apply a small amount of this product to the eye area with a brush. So we're going to be giving those a shot. And then I have a L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick in Le Chocolate Dose of Cocoa. It's one of the um, chocolate scented ones. This was a collection that was released quite a while ago. Um, it looks like it might be too light for me, actually, but we're going to find out. So let's get on into it. So we're going to start with these liquid eyeshadows. So there's a variety, as you can tell, of colors in here. I'm going to pick this one, which is kind of like a really light neutral tan. Also ignore my nails, I really need to redo them. And then I'm probably going to put some kind of shimmer over this, assuming that it you know, works well. Also, the small mirror that I've been using um, is not at my desk, so I'll be using this like leopard print one that I got from um, Dollar Tree a while back. So I'm going to take a fluffy brush, wipe any excess powder off of it. So apparently I am supposed to be having a lazy day today other than filming. So I will be watching NCIS a majority of the day and probably scrolling through stuff on my phone because I'm the worst about window shopping on my phone, whether it's Timu, Shein, pulling up random clothing websites and going, oh, that's cute. Do they have it in my size? Knowing I'm never going to buy it. Um, so that's probably what I'm going to be doing. And folding some clothes that are already in here. All right, so let's see what we've got here. You've just got like a normal doe foot. They don't have a scent at all. It's kind of interesting. Not that I was expecting them to smell a certain way, but for them to not have a scent at all is strange. I mean, so far so good. That blended out really well with this brush. We're not getting any like weird creasing yet over the eyelid. So far I'm not mad. Cause you know, when you get stuff like this from brands you don't know, whether it's from Amazon or you know, Shein just sells their products, but like from Amazon or Timu or um, I haven't tried this yet, but I've seen people do it from like AliExpress and stuff like that. You kind of never know how it's going to perform. Uh, and I don't know that I like it right off the bat as much as the Wet n Wild ones, but there's definitely pigment. They blend it out like nothing. There's not like any sticky residue on the top of the brush where I was blending them out. I'm happy with that. Like, <laughs> I have no complaints. Okay, now what do I want to use as... 
I'm going to use this as my topper. This is the liquid eyeshadow from Beauty Bay in Precious Topaz. I don't remember if I used this one in my other video or not, but we're going to use it in this one just as a little, literally as a topper to give some shimmer. Sorry if you can hear scratching at the door, Casper's trying to get out. And I don't want to get up to open the door yet, so he'll stop in a minute. I don't want it to be super thick. I literally just want to add shimmer. I don't even know if it's going to pick up because it's like the same color as the liquid shadow underneath it. But yeah, I just want to add some shimmer to the top so it's not just plain matte. Oh, and that's another thing I do like about this liquid eyeshadow. It says that it's matte and it actually is matte. Some of them dry down a little shiny, but claim to be matte. So we've just got some shimmer now. If it'll focus, hello. There we go. Now, onto the face. Probably should have put this primer down earlier, but that's okay. So this, like I said, is the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skincare Color Correcting Serum Moisture Primer. And I have mine in Total Brightener, which is supposed to be for light skin tones, which I have. They also have one um, that is a redness reducer that I'd like to try. It's got a green tint. This one's just got a peachy tint to help brighten the skin. So I'm going to put a little bit of this on my hands. And I guess I'm going to use this hand to put it on because my other hand has some glitter on it from that eyeshadow. I've got a little too much here. That's okay. We're going to make it work. So on its own, I'm not 100% sure that I'd use it as just like a serum and moisturizer um, because it does leave like a pinky peachy tint. I'm going to have to use this hand too. <laughs> what are you doing, Cass? He's like playing under the door. Um, it does leave kind of a pinky cast and uh, my skin does not need to be more pink. But under foundation, it's looked pretty good and it feel it's definitely moisturizing so let me go ahead and say that um but it feels nice under foundation when I tried it the first time I wore it under my Rimmel 25 hour foundation whatever it is and it worked really well it does leave a sheen I assume that's the brightening aspect. A little bit still on my hand. I had a little piece of glitter right there on my chin. That was weird. And then I'm going to use the Water Shine Difumin. This was one of the little um, like foundations that I got, but it's more of like a CC or BB cream. I'm going to use what's on the little lid thing first. I feel like this might be better with a, um, where is my foundation brush? Oh, I already pulled it down with a sponge, but I did not get a sponge ready. So we're just gonna work with what we've got here because I'm not using it for heavy coverage. And since I know this primer serum thing is a little dewy. I do have a powder, the one that I showed y'all, that I'm going to be using to set everything. I feel like this side of my face is definitely holding on to some of that peachy tint a little bit more. I'm sure it's going to be a little harder for y'all to see on camera. I'm going to dip my brush straight into that little puff. Like, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's got this, like, thing on the top. I'm just 
dipping straight in to get some of the foundation to come up onto the brush. And I'm going to take that over the face. I might have to get up and let Casper out. I try to keep the door shut while I film, that way if Michael's wandering around the house, he can't hear. Um, Casper just <laughs> happened to be in here with me. Okay. Sorry, I had like a little fuzz stuck in the foundation. And that was going to bother me if I didn't get it. Oh, no, here's a Casper. Hi! Come here! Let's see if I can get him to say hello. Come here, Bubba. Come here. Ugh. Say hello. Say hello. Yeah. Mm, I smell like foundation, don't I? That's my baby. Okay, I'll put you down now. Ow! He's like, what are you doing? Okay. Let me close this foundation up. I keep saying foundation because it is kind of a foundation, but it's not as strong as a normal foundation. Okay, so now to get into that powder. I have foundation on my hands. Okay, it comes with a little poof. And that's what I'm going to be using. I'm just going to take it and pick the powder up on the poof. Pat it onto the face and then I will go in with a fluffy brush to sweep it over if I feel like I need to um, once I've done this. It's clinging a little bit right there but I think that's where the foundation is just kind of sticking to the peach fuzz on my face and so this is just sitting on top of that but otherwise you can tell that it mattified that side down nicely. So, I'll try to do the other side where y'all can see it a little bit better, like as I'm doing it, without trying to knock that down off my desk. Powder all over my shirt. Um, I had to kind of pat it from around the edges because the powder kind of gets stuck around the edge of this. So I gotta get that. I'm gonna get a little bit more. There we go. Onto the poof. Okay, need a little bit more right along the jawline. This side's good. Okay. Now, I'm going to close that up, and I unfortunately don't have a like new highlighter that y'all like for sure have not seen oh it feels like there's something in my lashes there we go. okay so i'm just going to use the mermaid glow Face Candy Highlight Collection because that is in front of me. This really makes me miss the Hush app if y'all ever used that. This is, I don't remember exactly which palette, but this is like a dupe for one of the ABH palettes or something like that. Also, this one is like full on silver. Um, but I'm going to be using um, Aquarius, which has like a purple shift to it. Where's the piece of hair that I feel? 
Do y'all have issues with hair? Hey, don't pull that box. Do y'all have issues with hair getting in your face as much as I do? Because even when my hair's up, somehow it's in my face. I'm just taking a fluffy brush and getting that to go down. Let in a little more light here. So I'm not going anywhere, so even though this one leaves almost kind of that Tin Man cast, it's not going to matter. For those of you who don't know, my car hasn't been working for quite some time. So, couldn't go anywhere even if I wanted to, which is why I haven't had any nice um, shop with me's recently. But don't worry, those will be coming back as soon as I can. And we're going to go see what all the stores have to offer that I've been missing out on. Hello! Stop it! You! Yes, you! Come here! What are you doing? Do you want to see them again? Now he's over here rubbing on my leg. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm gonna put on some mascara so that I can stop having hairs in my eyes. Let me let him out. Otherwise, he's gonna drive me nuts with this box. You wanna go? You wanna go? Let's go. Bye. That's how Casper gets what he wants. He finds a box and messes with it for as long as he can because he knows the sound drives me nuts. I'm gonna use the CoverGirl Lash Plumping Mascara. This is the most recent mascara that I received. So it falls into the category of new, as far as I'm concerned. If y'all didn't see the video, this was part of my um, winter 2022-2023 Walmart beauty box. And I just realized it's also CoverGirl. That was complete accident. This video has a lot of CoverGirl. This was not part of the Influencer Complimentary Vox box, however. That's just coincidence. And that CoverGirl is also one of my favorite drugstore brands anyway, because one of my favorite, favorite, favorite drugstore foundations is CoverGirl. It's the um, CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made. This mascara is so nice. But it is such a good foundation. And it was one of the first foundations I found where I actually found a really, really good match for my skin. Because when I was in high school, and you know, trying to play around with makeup. Pretty much all I wore in high school was eyeliner. And I had a translucent powder that I took around with me. Oh, I finally got the dang hair. I don't know if you can see that. It's a little cat hair. Probably from when I picked up Casper. Um, but I had a little translucent powder that I carried around with me that I would use when I got really oily. But anytime I would try foundation, I just couldn't find one that matched me. And I think that was part of the reason why I never really got into makeup, because my grandma was super into makeup. Like, she was one of those people that had to be fully done up before she would leave the house. Like, hair, makeup, everything. And I was never like that. I'm still not like that. Like, don't get me wrong, I love doing makeup before I leave. But if all of a sudden I'm like, oh, I want to go to the grocery store, I definitely don't feel obligated to put on makeup. And I think that was because when I was in high school and so when I was living with her, I didn't pick up that habit. And so it just hasn't become a habit for me. Because I feel like if I did makeup then, because that's how she was, that's more so how I would be. I know you're supposed to do setting spray before mascara, but we're doing it now anyway because I just thought about it. 
and I don't have a new setting spray yet, but I do have some that will be on the way. I'm very excited because um, if you find out in this video, cool. If not, you will find out when another specific video comes out. But Apocalyptic Beauty won't be doing their look of the month bags anymore. At least not for now. I'm use the ColourPop, ColourPop Brow Boss Gel. And that makes me really, really sad. Um, because I really like Apocalyptic Beauty and all of the products that I get. I love seeing the collections and the colors that, you know, she comes out with. And it makes me proud to be from South Carolina. But the brand is not stopping. The website is still running. Um, so the reason that I have some stuff coming is because she was having like a New Year sale. And I bought a few number of things. So I'll be doing a video on that haul when it all comes. And that's why setting spray reminded me because setting spray is one of the things that I grabbed because um, they were on an amazing sale. So very much looking forward to that. I think there's one more look of the month bag coming and then that'll be the last one. But alas, we move on. I will still buy products and you so you will still see them in videos and I have like half a drawer full of loose eyeshadows thanks to Apocalypse Beauty. So anyway, we're gonna try on this lipstick. See if it's too light. I hate that they put this stupid thing across the whole bottle. Like I know you have to have it, but why wouldn't you put it in some kind of packaging so that you don't have to have it down the whole thing. It's gonna, yep, peel off some of my label. That underneath there is the L'Oreal label. Oh well. I love the applicator on these. It's like that teardrop shape. It does smell like chocolate, more like the hot cocoa chocolate, but chocolate nonetheless. This might work kind of a grayish tone. Ah! A lot more went on than I was expecting. Hmm. Can't decide how I feel about it. It's kind of giving concealer lips, but with a grayy undertone. I think I like it, you know? I think that I like it. I feel like maybe this just isn't the look for it. Ah, I just stuck my finger right on it trying to get the little hair. The curse of having cats. You'll have to let me know what y'all think. I think I like it. I just feel like it needs a darker eye or something to kind of contrast it a little more. Um, but yeah, this is my face of newer products that I'm trying out. One that I haven't tried before now, <laughs> which was the lipstick and the matte eyeshadows. So let me know your thoughts down below. Thumbs up if you enjoyed. Um, subscribe, see more of my content, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.